the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial about linking tasks in Microsoft Project. Now before we jump into our example and I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can link tasks together in Project, let's just talk a little bit about what that process actually means if you've never linked a task before. So in any large project or even a smaller project, there will come a time where you're going to need to link the tasks that you create together in order to create an accurate project plan. And all that linking is, is the process of taking a dependent task or tasks and linking it to its predecessor. So let's take a look at an example of that. Now on the screen here, I have a very, very basic project plan, and this might be the start of a wedding plan. So if I'm organizing a wedding, these might be the, the bare bones tasks, the initial items that I've added into my project plan. And it might be that I need to link some of these tasks together. For example, I can see here if I look at my task names, my third task listed here is finalize guest list. And then after that, I have task four, which is book a venue. And then task five, which is book caterer. Now, currently, none of these tasks are linked together. But I can see here just by looking at these headings that I'm probably not going to be able to do task five, book the caterer, until I finalize the guest list. Otherwise, I'm not going to know how many people there will be attending the wedding in order to know how much food I require. The same thing could be said for booking the venue. I need to make sure I have my guest list finalized before I know what size venue I need to book. So essentially, both tasks four and five depend on task three finishing before these two can start. So in order to reflect that in our project plan, I need to link these tasks together. Now, before we start with the linking process, a couple of really important points to note. There are four different types of link available when you're linking tasks together. And we're going to use the most common one, which is called FS. And that stands for finish to start. And that means that the dependent task start date is linked to the predecessor task's finish date. So essentially, one task has to finish before the next one starts. We then have a start to start or SS link type. And that means the dependent task start date is linked to the predecessor's task start date. There's a finish to finish or FF which means the dependent task finish date is linked to the predecessor task finish date. Then finally, we have the least common type link, and that is SF start to finish. And that means the dependent task finish date is linked to the predecessor tasks start date. Now, one other thing I want to highlight in here before we go through the process of linking tasks is that you'll see on my task ribbon in the middle there, I have this option auto schedule selected. And I always like to keep my project plan in auto schedule mode. Essentially, what it means is if you start changing start dates, finish dates, linking tasks, amending things, it means your schedule is going to reorganize and reschedule tasks automatically for you. So let's jump in and take a look at the different ways that we can link tasks together. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to link finalize guest list with book venue. And I want to make sure finalized guest list is completed first before I can book the venue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these tasks, finalized guest list, hold down control and select book venue. And then on the task ribbon in the schedule group, I have a little chain icon there. And when I hover over, it says link the selected tasks, keyboard shortcut control plus F2 if you want to use that. So if I click on this, you can now see what happens in the predecessors column. It's now showing me that the predecessor for task four book venue is task three finalized guest list. And if we look across on the Gantt chart, you can see that that's been represented by this arrow showing that those two tasks are now linked together. 
Now you'll see there when I clicked on the link button, I didn't get a choice as to which type of link I wanted to do. If you remember, I said there were four different types of link. And that's because by default, Project will do an FS or a finish to start link. Now, if for some reason I wanted to jump in there and change that to something else, then I can definitely do that as well by simply double clicking on the arrow on the Gantt chart, which is going to take me into my task dependency drop down and I can jump in and I can change it to whichever one of these options I want. Another way to do exactly that same thing would be to select your task. Go up to your task ribbon and click on information and jump straight across to the predecessors tab. And you can see here it's telling me that task four book venue has a predecessor of task three finalized guest list. And from here, if I wanted to, I could also change that link type. So a couple of ways in there to change that to something else if you don't want that default finish to start link. So that's one way of linking your tasks. Now, another way of linking tasks is for users of Project 2019. So if you do have the latest version of Project, you're going to see that you have a handy little drop down that's going to enable you to link tasks super quickly. So for example, I'm going to also link Book Caterer to Finalize Guest List because I want to finalize the guest list before I book the caterer because I don't know how much food I'm going to need. Now, if you have 2019 and you want to link these two together, it's a very simple process. You don't actually need to select any of your tasks. All you need to do is go across to the predecessors column for book caterer, and you'll see we have a helpful little drop down arrow, which will allow you to go in and select what you want to link to. So in my case, finalize guest list, click away, and that now also has a predecessor of task three. Now, another thing to note when linking tasks, if you select three tasks in one go and click on the link icon, it's basically going to link them sequentially. So because I've selected all of them, task seven, book photographer, has a predecessor of task six and task eight, wedding day, has a predecessor of task seven. Now, of course, if you want to change these around, so for example, if I want to go into wedding day, and I'm actually going to change that to link to create wedding plan instead. I can definitely do that. And if I wanted to also link finalize guest list and book photographer, I can select both of these, even though they're not together, simply by holding down my control key, I can click on link. And you can see now that that task, task seven, has two predecessors, task six and also task three. And every change I'm making here, you can see is updating on that Gantt chart. Now, another interesting thing is that if I was to change the duration of any of my tasks, then because I have this set to auto schedule, everything's going to rearrange and reorganize itself nicely. So if I say it's going to take me actually four days to finalize the guest list and then click away, everything is reorganized on the schedule and project helpfully highlights all of the cells it's changed in blue. So I can go in and I can see which tasks have been affected by any changes that I've made. And this blue highlight will disappear from your Gantt chart as soon as you click on the save button. Now, if you want to unlink tasks at any point, again, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. If you're using 2019, you can click that drop down and just untick the box in order to unlink. If you have a slightly older version, for example, let's take a look at this book photographer that has two predecessors. You can highlight the task and click on the unlink button. So very simple and straightforward. Hopefully that's given you a bit more of an idea as to the different ways that you can link tasks together and also unlink them. That's it for this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.